Turn your wounds into wisdom. You will be wounded many times in your life. You'll make mistakes. Some people will call them failures. But I have learned that failure is really God's way of saying, excuse me, you're moving in the wrong direction. It's just an experience. And it wasn't until they, I was demoted as a on-air anchorwoman and thrown into the talk show arena to get rid of me that I allowed my own truth to come through. And the first day I was on the air doing my first talk show back in 1978, it felt like breathing, which is what your true passion should feel like. It should be so natural to you. And so I took what had been a mistake, what had been perceived as a failure with my career as an anchor woman in the news business and turned it into a talk show career that's done okay for me. You will at some point fall. And when you do, I want you to know this, remember this, there is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Now, it looks like failure. So this past year, I had to spoon feed those words to myself. And when you're down in the hole, when that moment comes, it's really okay to feel bad for a little while. Give yourself time to mourn what you think you may have lost. But then, here's the key. Learn from every mistake. Because every experience, encounter, and particularly your mistakes, are there to teach you and force you into being more of who you are. Authentic power is when you are able to align who you are, who you've become in the world, with really what you've come to do in the world. When your personality serves the soul, you have no idea what your legacy is. Your legacy is every life that you touch. And so, as you leave here today, the decision is, whose lives will that be? How will you use yourself in such a way that your impact and your legacy will live beyond the doing? So the great reward for me is knowing that what I'm doing and, and how I've done it and how I choose to live in the space that I call God, how in God I move and breathe and have my being and I try to move from the center of that is able to literally touch the lives of other people. When you are a great reader, you can articulate and speak and command the English language in ways that other people cannot. And people think you're a lot smarter than you are, <laughs> lots of times, because you're a great reader. I would say it's the absolute greatest foundation. Have That's you ever met a person for. who was a great reader when they were young who was not successful? You never, never. It is the absolute best foundation ever in life. Hey there, subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon.